Over the last few years, there have been several items of speculation and rumors <laughs> surrounding a possible feature film version of the popular TV series, Game of Thrones. Right, it's two for two. <laughs> now you can add more fuel to that fire as Game of Thrones creator George R.R. R. Martin said the following in a recent interview. There will be a movie, but I will not be involved. I have too much to do. That is something HBO and DB and David are dealing with. I have two more books to finish, and I still have so much to do. The article in the Daily Star also went on to say the following. They are looking at dipping back in time during certain periods of the series, which could be examined as a one-off plot. That means that some of the big characters who fans have seen die on screen could be resurrected. Christian, do you think we'll actually see a Game of Thrones feature film? And if so, how do you think they're going to handle it? Uh, I do think we're going to see a feature film. I think that by them releasing a few of those episodes, I think it was the end of season two or three, whatever, whatever that season was, that they put a few episodes into the theater. In IMAX. In last, IMAX. Last season. Season, last season. And the great response that it got. And it's funny because I think it was last Friday... Um, Dennis, myself, and David Griffin were talking about t TV going to film as a work. And I was actually against a lot of it, but we all mentioned that Game of Thrones would work and could work because of the scale. I actually think that would be great to do what they're talking about here is to go back a certain event. I don't know how far in time. Maybe they do The Mad King, which is what, 50 years before, whatever, how many mm -hmm. years before, or something on a time period they didn't cover in the show that they wanted to do. And I'm okay with David Benioff doing, doing a version of this because he's still got... George R. R. Martin's phone number. You can still get notes and figure out stuff of that nature. I think that this is a property that lends itself to the big screen. I think it would do really well. I think it's an epic movie that could come out in the summer. I think it's an epic movie that com could come out in December. It's it it serves that fantasy niche that we that we want, and it might be able to introduce fans um, of the t t who've never seen a TV show that just see in, they're sitting in a movie and they see the trailer for Game of Thrones and like oh, okay I've heard of the TV show and they go and they see the movie it blows them away and then they revisit and watch the whole series. I think it's really smart. Mark? As the heir to the AMC fortune, <laughs> this is great news. I think this is definitely going to happen, and sooner rather than later. And what George R. R. Martin is talking about doesn't seem all that dissimilar from the transition that George Lucas made with his baby Star Wars, where eventually you hand off your property because it becomes more than just about you. It's a very valuable property, and they're going to want to make a lot of movies based on this. This is great news because finally we're going to get to see Sean Bean survive a movie. <laughs> Maybe, <right? laughs> you know his head's going to be yeah. intact by the end of this thing. It's exciting. This is smart. It's the right business move. I think they'll obviously wait until after the <coughs> series runs its course before you release a movie in the theaters, but you're right. Just based on the success alone of them releasing an IMAX, this is a no-brainer. I just heard thousands of voices scream out in <laughs> anger of people who have not watched season one. <laughs> <laughs> season one. I mean, this this show has always been one that is shot very cinematically. It's a very cinematic um, on TV show in shot the way and I'll be honest as much as I really love the show one of my criticisms of Game of Thrones has been a lot of the episodes have pacing problems sometimes because in you know one episode will have three amazing scenes that make the whole episode worth it but in between those three amazing scenes can be just be time filler and it would be kind of cool to see a two hour and 20 minute movie that's you know all thriller no no filler and like all the way through and that would be kind of interesting. Plus, while I'm normally against prequel ideas, there's a lot of time periods that you could go back to the, you know, uh, the Stark and Baratheon rebellion against the Mad King. You could totally go back and tell that story. You can go back even further to when the Dragon Wars happened. You, there's lots of different things you could do here. So, and it wouldn't interfere with the show if you go back 50 or 100 or 1,000 years. Then it doesn't interfere, interfere with the show at all. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Schnapp, what do you think? I would like to see the movie happen before the actual game. Game of Thrones series is over, and it would be great to bring back Sean Bean and cover some of that. So it's not so far away. It's not like a thousand years beforehand. Right. So it still has some kind of bearing on what's happening now. I'm excited to see a Game of Thrones movie. And and from what I hear, I'm not reading the books myself, but from what I hear is that this past season already took a lot of liberties with the storylines yeah. that were in George R. R. Martin's books. So they already have a creative team that is taking their own path with this, so it makes sense to do more projects. It would be cool as well to see uh, um, Jamie Lannister take out the Mad King as mm -hmm. well, too. That'd be something interesting. Yeah. And then it'd be also great to see George R. R. Martin in the Willow sequel. <laughs> <laughs>